Well then you join me this morning. It's a good Friday. It's rained overnight and it's made the towpath a little bit soggy. You might be able to hear. Hopefully the canal's not flooded and I'll be able to carry on with my walk. But today's today's target is to do about 30 miles. I'm gonna try and do a bit of a a vlog inform people what I'm experiencing any tips if you can give me any tips really or recommend anything it's the first time I'm planning on doing a 150 mile walk uh, in June for charity with a bunch of guys from work so I've started early building up the stamina and working out what works for me and what I need to improve on but as I say today we're planning on walking from Wolverton to Wilton on the Grand Union Canal I'm about 45 minutes in I've done about two and a half miles so far not too bad starting to warm up so I might have to take my jacket off in a minute and uh, here yeah, we'll crack on. I think the first sort of rest point will be Stoke Brewing where the, the tunnel the tunnel is. I'll, uh, I'll have something to eat and a drink and go up, up and over and get to the other side of the, the tunnel and start off again. I'll see you in a bit. About five miles in, I'm having to dodge these puddles like, trying to get wet feet. So I think the canal's right up. Hopefully, I can get all the way through the Stoke Brewing because I know there is a bit just the other side of Grafton Regis where the river can, it's really close to the canal, so it can come up and breach the canal sort of bank really so hopefully I uh, I can get through there without too much trouble as you see the overflow for the canal going into the river Tove I think it is just listen listen to the noise of it Right, so uh, six miles in, we're near Grafton Regis. You're gonna have to excuse my camera holding. Just got it in my hand. And if I sniff, it's because I've got a bit of a cold. But six miles in, navigated those puddles where the canals come up. My left foot currently feels a bit moist. Right foot's okay. Uh, my right shoulder and my bag is aching which I've done a few quite a few walks before this is the longest one I'm attempting to do uh, you do get a bit of shoulder ache but I've got to work out where, how, how to solve that and make that a bit easier when I mean, I've got a 15 litre backpack on it's got I've got two and a half litres of fluid and my food and a few bits and pieces so I've got a bit of weight in the bag Obviously as the day goes by, it's going to get lighter, so in theory it should get easier. But we'll, we'll see about that one. Got a bit of a sweat on. Took my jacket off from earlier. So we'll get to Stoke Brewing as I check my feet. Have something to eat and uh, carry on. We'll just, uh, oh, we turn that round? How do we turn that round? So you're not looking at my face. Let's try and work that out. Where are we? Can't do it. Can't do it. I was gonna show you the, the river flooded, but 
you're just gonna have to make do in my face. But that is a picture of the river flooding that you can't obviously see. So this was the bit I was a bit sort of like uh, wary of. This is a bit just past Grafton Regis where the, the canal can overflow again. So join the River Tove. Just met a, a runner who, uh, he's managed to run through it, but he, he did say to me, I might get wet feet and wet trousers. Uh, might have to do a bit of tiptoeing through this bit. And we shall see. So we're at this place. How are we going to get something? Or can we actually pass it? That will be the question. Bit. This guy ran through this. That's uh, interesting. Right, what are we gonna do here? Do we follow the fence line? Or will we walk on the grass? Hmm. Let's go with the grass. feet are going to get wet and we'll have to hop, skip and jump I think. I've done it, hop, hop skip and a jump but I might have wet feet although they're supposed to be waterproof. I think I'm going to need more than a hop, skip and a jump to go through that bit. Uh, I think I think I might have to uh, have a detour. I mean, I'm all for ga trying, game for, a, but uh, I think I have to look after my own life. So we have to kangaroo hop back over this bit, see if not get back out onto the main road, which I should be able to, to follow, get across to Stoke Brewing. So I've had to turn around. We're going back towards Grafton Regis, so we're going to have to cut through Grafton Regis and get out onto the A508. I walked up Stoke Brewing that way, slightly annoying, but you can't control the weather conditions, so it'll probably add a little bit of mileage, but it doesn't really matter. At least I know what I've got to do on the way back. And uh, yeah. My feet are a bit soggy now, so, so when I get to Stoke Bruin, I'll be able to dry my feet, change my socks, and have a look what's going on with me tootsies. But uh, we soldier on. So just leaving Grafton Regis. The downside about coming back out onto the main road is obviously the vehicles. But I've got to go up and down the hills, which you can probably see in the distance obviously the canal's quite flat easier going but I'm gonna to have to go up and down them now to get the soap brewing lovely so just getting into Stoke brewing that detour I've had has basically put about a mile change the camera and put about a mile onto the walk I'm just getting up to 10 miles normally 
it's about say nine uh, we could turn around and go back which basically mean I've done 20 but we don't want to do that I'm going to try and do 30 today so we'll carry on So we've had a break at Blisworth Tunnel. Had something to eat, a gel, had a sneaky scotch egg, a bit of drink, changed the socks because they were soaking. Made sure the feet are okay. I found some nappy sacks in my coat pocket. So left over from the walking the dog. So I've put them over in the front of my toes just to keep them dry and see if that helps for the rest of the journey so I've done about 11 miles that detours put about two miles on the onto the route easy looking at doing more than 30 miles today because the aim was to get to Wilton which I think is probably about five or six miles from Stoke Bruin which was getting us on to like 16 17 miles and then turn around so go back home so that we put in 32 34 but it's all building up the stamina back seems okay legs seem okay if anyone's got anything any suggestions for shoulders i mean they seem all right at the minute because of taking some of the weight out but uh, I think these are going to be a killer, doing 50 miles, but uh, we shall see. The sun has decided to stick its head out. Now I've put my waterproof trousers on and my coat back on. So we might be taking that back off in a, in a while. But we'll see where this, this footpath takes us. That's one of the uh, air pipes for the tunnel. So we're the other side of the tunnel now at Bluesworth. It says we've got 18 miles to Braunston Junction. Just having a a drink taking on some fluids. I took my jacket off because I've worked up a sweat and the sun's come out. But we're back on the tow path. I think we're about mile 12 and a half, 13, something like that. So there's no way I'm going to get to Wilton. What I'm expecting. I would have thought mile 16, 17. I'll be thinking about turning around and going back because then that will get me up to about 32, 34 miles today. Um, but we'll see how far we can get. I'm going to keep you posted. I don't think I'm going to make Wilton. The wind blows. I'm on mile 16 there. I'm not that far away, but I'm going to do another half, half a mile or so to try and get to about 17 miles and stop for a break. So I've just got to turn around and go back home. So we're just walking towards this bridge, which I think, I don't know if that's the A5 that runs over the top of that. I'm not 100% sure, but it is quite a big bridge. So I've just stopped for today. Got, haven't got anywhere near Wilton, but uh, I've done 16.7 miles in five hours. So, 
I've pushed myself anyway a little bit further. The target was 30 for today. So I've done 16 and a bit. I'm going to be close to 33, 34 miles by the time I've got home. So just going to have something to eat again, have a rest, 15, 20 minutes, check my feet over, check the undercarriage because there's something rubbing in the underpants. And uh, yeah, make my way back. Just tucked in behind this bridge again because it keeps shelter for a little bit. We've got a bit of a wind break behind the bridge. Heavens have decided to open. I took my waterproof trousers off for my legs to dry out a little bit and then as soon as I'd done that there was a few specks of rain and then it just went all dark so I've got my waterproof back on That's in the back direction. so I'm still just ducked in behind this canal bridge at the minute just keeping shelter it looks like it's going to blow over but I did have a chance to check my feet briefly. I seem okay at the minute. Nothing real of real concern. Shoulders got back some, they're free now, the bag's off. But I dare say that was, they'll start hurting again as soon as I start putting some miles back in. I've got a slight headache. So probably uh, slightly dehydrated. I say I've, I've had one litre of fluid, and I've got a little thermos flask. I've got one litre left on me, so I can, I can drink that on the way back. But that's probably one of the one of the biggest things to be aware of is where where your water points are really. I mean, I know there's one at Stoke Bruin, and then from Stoke Bruin there's one at Castle Thorpe. Uh, not Castle Fork, sorry. Um, Cosgrove. Cosgrove, there's a water point you can get access to. Uh, and then from Cosgrove, there's one at Gifford Park. But obviously, you can carry a load of water, it's a load of weight on your back. So it's knowing, knowing how much you're comfortable with carrying against where your water points are. You've obviously got shops and pubs and stuff along the way, but depends how much of a detour, how much of a stop you uh, you actually want to do. But uh, yeah, it's all it's all in the preparation really and, and working out where where your water points are. So on our way back to Wolverton. In true fashion, the blue sky's out, the rain's stopped, the sun's out. I'm all suited and booted for wet weather. At some stage, I dare say I'm going to have to take that off. It's going to be too hot. But so part part of doing a big walk, really, not just that physical endurance and that stamina that you've got to build up. It's mental as well. Mental strength big thing just got to keep stride by stride keep driving forward it's going to be some aches and pains no doubt and a bit of boredom so one of my things at the minute is uh, taking note of the barge names and doing a bit of a word association with the name first or second thing that comes to mind as soon as you see that barge name for instance there was a barge earlier called Frankie so I just went Frankie and Benny's the restaurant chain so it's quite a few as I just keeps the mind occupied as they got wildlife and bits and pieces and taking note of the condition of the tow path to worry about but just uh, just something fun really and some of the same gauges the brain but uh, 
I say, leave it like that. I'll try and put a couple of pictures through on the vlog and then, uh, as I give the answers, I'll tell you what I thought at the end of the video, if anyone's interested. As I, I'm about five, must be about five miles from Stoke Brewing, so I'll get there. I'll probably have a pit stop and have another gel and I'll uh, try and take on a bit of water. I'm just coming up towards Blisworth Tunnel again. I'm on mile 20. I've been going for six and a bit hours. Uh, I think I'm going to have a gel when I get to the tunnel. I feel like I need a bit of a pick me up. Uh, the sun's come back out. I've taken my jacket off. I'm going to have to take my waterproof trousers off at some stage. I feel like I've been my legs sweating. Uh, what have I taken from it so far? If you walk the Grand Union Canal in March, it could be a bit of a mud bath. That goes for anyone that's biking it really, or running it. I think if you're biking it, you're gonna have some interesting uh, wheel spins and skids, I think running it just got to be mindful of the stones and the bricks and stuff and the little potholes that are here and there same for walking really you just look like got just got to have your wits about you but uh, so that comes down to footwear really what do you wear on your feet i mean i've got boot walking boots on which i'm not 100 percent convinced uh, when I walk in June, whether or not I'll be wearing boots or some sort of like walking trainers. Uh, jewellery's still out on that. I'm open to suggestions. But uh, yeah, and obviously water, drink, getting your fluids on. When I say my headaches sort of like disappeared, so I, I've been drinking every now and then on the way back to the tunnel. I've got about half a litre left, so I've got another at least 12 to 14 miles to go, so somewhere I'm going to have to take on some water. But I'll keep you posted, I'll, uh, I'll have my gel in a couple of minutes because I'm probably about 200 metres away from the tunnel. That's in the distance. And yeah, we'll take it from there, really. That definitely makes the le legs work a little bit coming up here. Just on this road from Blisworth to Stoke Bruin. It's quite hard on your feet actually from coming off the towpath. It's quite up and down, a few hills in it. To get back to Stoke Bruin towpath. Uh, I've got to have a look at my toe, one of my toes, I've got a bit of an annoying, could be a blister on me, on my, not my big toe, left foot, big toe, the toe next to your big toe, so your second big toe, seems to be, uh, if that makes sense, seems to be, uh, there's something niggling on that, so, I've got to try and deal with that because that will just annoy me all through the walk. So you can see the sun's back out, it's blue sky. I've got to Stoke Bruin, I've sorted my blister out on my second big toe. I still don't think that sounds right, but whatever your toe is next to your big toe. Uh, yeah. Don't feel too bad really. Still drinking. I'm gonna have to do that bypass section in a couple of minutes where it was flooded on the towpath from earlier, so I'd have to walk across the main 
along the main road, the A508, to get to Grafton Regis. So, I won't bore you with anything on there. But uh, if there's anything interesting happens, I'll probably I'll leave it there. Uh, and I'll update on my next upload on, on the outcome and how I felt. Any learning points, that sort of stuff. But if anyone's got any advice for for me or the team that we're doing this charity walk for, let us know. Got any tips yourself? And uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch. One little last update, really. I've done that bypass section from Stoke Brewing to Grafton Regis. That's hard going on the road. A lot harder. Surface. Done about 25 and a half miles to 7 hours 34 minutes in. Uh, the sun's coming. I need to take my waterproof trousers off really because my legs are sweating but I can't find anywhere where there's a bench at the minute or something to sit on. I've got to take my shoes off to be able to take my trousers off. Uh, I'm going to get me uh, pick me up wagon wheel out of my bag in a few minutes. A little boost. We've got to have a little bit of a boost hidden away somewhere, a little chocolate or something. Just try and lighten the, lighten the mood, as I say, for load. I don't know. Make it a bit easier anyway. So feet, feet ache. I get some funny little feelings in my legs every now and then, but they seem to pass. So you're not far away from the tow path where it's a bit softer. So I feel my feet I feel a little bit better. But I've currently sorted that blister out. But I had it stoked in. Far to go, man. I know I said I wouldn't do another little update but I've officially done 28.1 miles it's the furthest I've ever walked 8 hours 25 still reckons my pace is 3.3 miles an hour it's an amazing considering the tow path is slipping and sliding but my feet feet do ache now I've run out, nearly run out of water so I've got to get the Cosgrove to be able to uh, fuel up the water again to fill up the water again uh, yeah toes ache, feet ache hamstring feels a bit funny I do feel a bit slower Although, uh, since my pace is still 3.3 miles an hour, but, and, uh, well, we're not far to go. I reckon I've got, uh, four, four odd miles to go. But, again, thanks for watching, and, uh, look at the description for the answers, I think, to the, uh, word association with the barge names and uh, see if you were right with what what I thought at the same time but anyway over and out